Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two very easy questions for you so I hope everyone would be able to choose the correct answer and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. The likelihood of child being born with major genetic defects such as mental retardation can often be uh, detected by sampling and here is the three answers to choose from. Answer A, the mother's uterus cells. Answer B, the cells from the embryo or fetus. And answer C, the father's blood cells. As for the mother's uterus cells and father's blood cells, both these cells belong to the somatic cells and uh, all the problems with a child with embryo or fetus may happen during the process of meiosis, whether on the mother's side or father's side during uh, egg cell uh, production or um, sperm cell production. Uh, during this process, one of the sperm, for example, can get one extra uh, chromosome, for example, chromosome 21, and the same problem may happen with uh, egg cell. So this would lead to the Down syndrome. Um, one extra chromosome 21. So this is going to be trisonomy. And uh, of course uh, not all the uh, components of the blood have uh, DNA, for example red blood cells, one of the major components of the uh, blood doesn't have a nucleus and DNA, so we cannot use uh, these cells in order to find um, what might cause a genetic disorder. So the only correct answer here would be answer B. So we can uh, use cells from the embryo or fetus in order to find what uh, cause uh, genetic disorder by sampling and this uh, process called uh, amniocentesis and uh, the correct answer would be B. And second question which of the following can be detected now by examining a career type? Answer A, over 3000 genetic defects. And answer B, an unborn child's gender or sex. And answer C, both of the above. And uh, the correct answer would be B. So, uh, if you think that we can detect uh, 3000 genetic defects just by looking at the career type, and here is an example of the human karyotype. As you see, every chromosome here has its unique uh, pattern. And if we take a close look at each chromosome, we may see, for example, deletions or uh, duplications. Or we also can see if some chromosomes uh, changed their arms, non-homologous chromosomes. But this method is very limited because we only can see here large changes to uh, uh, chromosomes. So changes on the chromosomes level. Of course, we cannot see um, such genetic disorder that is caused by point mutation. Or we cannot see even if uh, uh, part of the uh, some genes are missing. We only can see, because on each uh, chromosome there can be thousands of different genes, and we only can see ch any changes to chromosome that takes hundreds of uh, genes, at least hundreds of genes. And of course we cannot see any changes uh, when it uh, only affects one or few genes. But as you see, uh, studying karyotype, it is very easy to find uh, what is a sex. So, for example, here you see one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. That means that this is going to be a male. So, by nowadays, studying karyotype, we only can detect about 100 genetic disorders. In order to be able to find uh, 3000 genetic uh, disorders, we have to study uh, genome not on the chromosome level but on the molecular level and we have to make whole genome sequencing of the particular person then we can compare with database of uh, known 
genetic disorders so we can find uh, what cause genetic disorder but once again we cannot find uh, 3000 genetic disorders just by studying karyotype and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye